interviewed by the one and only mother. It's such a pleasure. I feel like that thing's really gonna stick. My, even my children call me Mother Earth already. You are our Mother Earth. Again, everyone, Mother Earth. All right, well, Miss Miss Amis Oriental, I do have to ask you though, because we did get to chit chat back then when I didn't meet you, and you said you joined quite a few pageants. And I have to ask you, is it very daunting, you know, to have always joined? Is the pressure a lot more intense? Like sometimes the, um, mga, what we call it, pageteras, right? Us pageteras who join so many, they put us up in a pedestal sometimes. So, does the pressure get to you sometimes? To be honest, Miss Carla, um, it's a mixed emotion. I am happy at the same time, pressured. Happy in a way that people see me as a competitor, and also happy because people see me as a potential winner. However, it is also very, um, pressure it's because the number one reason if we just get overwhelmed by doing so definitely we cannot just perform well that is why we have this call grace under pressure <laughs> sometimes there's only pressure yeah pressure cooker <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Miss Ms. Amis Oriental. Thank you so much, Miss Carla, our mother. <laughs> if there is an ate call, there is a mother. Exactly. And I think that is a really good thing, Carla, because you are one of the iconic queens from the Philippines. And labeling you as our mother earth simply significance, uh, simply giving you the significance of what you did as our Miss Earth 2008. Thank you so much. You've, that's very sweet and very, very um, thoughtful for you to, to bring that up. The year was mentioned. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry, but that is a good thing. Look at you, 2018 to 2024, looking fresh, our Mother Earth. <laughs> Actually, that's the year also I met one of the judges, Mr. Tim Yap. I, was, I met him right after Miss Earth, you know, and bahala na ang year, Tim, di ba? Basta fresh pa rin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Carla. Okay na ta? Yes, very good. We have. See, I have papers here at Código because I, I liked it quite a bit of interesting facts about you ladies. So I really wanted to get to ask you again. All right, some of these questions. And our next candidate is from the city of Manila. Welcome. City of Manila, I have to say, you don't have a very, what we call, pageant patty gown. How, what, what made you want to choose this kind of design? It's beautiful though, it's very beautiful. Um, actually, my first gown, it was made by Jello from, yeah, Jello from I don't know where, um, city. <laughs> but it was made by Sir Jello. Actually, it was really beautiful and I really like it, but unfortunately, the fit is not good. So, I, I really need to rush. I need to contact Mr. Axel K. So, I'm really grateful to her. So, to like provide another gown for me. Yeah. Oh, this is by Axel Q. Uh, okay. So is your your gown though, was it tight or was it loose? Um, the original one. It didn't fit? It fit. Oh, uh, okay. Because, you know, sometimes you lose weight, right? When yes. you're going through the competition. You have the, the as Ms. Amis already said, pressure cooker. <laughs> so you lose weight. Ang baboy, di ba? Mga yung baboy sa pressure cooker kayo. So, okay. City of Manila, I have to say, you have one of the most historic cities, right? You're full of um, amazing, like the downtown area and the, the, the museum. It's wonderful. What's your favorite place in Manila? Well, um, in Manila, there's a lot of beautiful things in Manila, but I'd like to tell you guys my hometown, which is Tondo, Manila. Um, in Tondo, Manila, actually, <laughs> um, in Tondo, Manila, Tondo Manila is known as one of the scariest places to go. It is because of the um, history or the background or, <laughs> or fake news, I guess. But if I were given a chance to bring you there, I will bring you to Ubo. Ubo? Yeah, that place is like a food place since I'm a food lover. 
there's a lot of different kind of foods there since I'm a food lover and in Ogbo you will meet the happiest and friendliest and hospitable people and aside from that um, I'd like to break the stereotype that Tondo Manila is a bad place or a scariest place to go because that is not true that's why I'm standing up standing sitting here in front of you Metro Cebu <laughs> Well, I think you can ask the candidates that I'm humble and kind, <laughs> baby girl. <laughs> but yeah, I love that there is humble and kind. Yes, because I and am. like Tama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. I think your the stereotype is broken already because we're seeing if the, if she is an epitome also of what Tondo is. I love it because it's hospitable. Tondo. Yes. My Tama talaga ako. <laughs> Alright, City of Manila, also another, I do have a follow-up question. Because you were mentioning the love, the delicious food trip in Manila. And I have to say, my friend over there and I, we, we go on very random food trips down in downtown. You know, um, uh, Waiying and all of these, you know, the old Chinatown food. What's your favorite food to eat there? In Tudo. Actually, since I'm a simple baby girl person, <laughs> my favorite food in Ogbo is baksilog. Baksilog is a combination of bacon, egg, and rice. And I think if you give yourself a chance to try, you'd like it. Oh yes, I've had baksilog. We used to eat that. Uh, we used to go to. Um, we used to have sex. Yeah, we have. That's where I ate it in sex. But baksilog you know what sex is. Sinangag Express. But Baxilog in Ukbo, guys, is very different. That's why I'm <laughs> suggesting you for you to try it. Ah, it's different. How do we cook it differently? Um, because it's a spicy on top and I don't know. I tried Baxilog from the other store, but Ukbo is the best. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna con uh, contact yes. you after the pageant and because I'm gonna try this new You Baxilog. should, you should. Have. Thank you very much, City of Manila. All right. Okay. Next is Kazon Proven. I have to say though, um, when I first saw you all glammed up at the prejudging, you reminded me of Krishna. Your beauty. Do you have a favorite queen that you idolize or? Sa katotohanan ang favorite ko po ay si Ate CJ Opiasa dahil napakagaling niya pong magpasarela kaya ginaya ko talaga yung best ko para best in swimsuit tayo. <laughs> diba? Ang galing mo talagang rumapa kanina eh. Yes. Maganda ang shandar day. <laughs> shandar talaga ko. Diba? So ilan na ilang taon ka nag-aral magpasarela? Nagsimula akong mag-contest na 16 years old. 16? Unang contest ko na yung pag-apa ko, sumusug ang mukha ko. Ano sa mga kula po? Why? Pagkasubsug ng mukha ko na yung nag-QA mo. Ah! 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 Sumusug yung mukha mo? Naalag ang utak ko dahil wala akong masagot na. Oh! Ay! Dai! So, it's been there, done that, dai nga ka. Kaya dahil iningatan ko talaga mag-rampa para naman kaya pag nag-top 7, magbula ang bumama ko. <laughs> kaya, bulain mo pa yung day, dali! Kaya kailangan hindi ako mabaldog kasi pag nabaldog ako, wala na siya lang ulit. <laughs> Pero hindi ka naman nag-andol kanina, di ba? So, no. ang hirap mag... pag walang kaon, dahil. Wala kang kain? Wa. Ah, oh, bakit? Eh, kaya ang katawan. Magalit na ka ng mo eh. Na swimsuit tayo. <laughs> diba? Best in swimsuit worth it, diba dahi? Yes dahi, pero matakot man ako dahi kay kung idol ko, or dahi, patanggap ka lang ko. Yes. Sige lang dahi, palaban sa bitaw ang ka, ala, tinuman naman yung katawan mo dahi. Pero oh, iba, oh. iba talaga ang kanya dahi talaga ang, wow. <laughs> Actually, during the rehearsals, oh, again, yeah, I'll just speak. During the rehearsals, she told me, you know what, I will win the best in swimsuit over you. And she did that. So, oh. congratulations. Everybody, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm 
Pwede lahat sa ating day. Sa so, kanilang dalawa? Sharing is caring na lang tayo, day. May okay. point na pa naman mamaya. Okay na ko, day. Hindi naman ako nagaldog para mamaya sa top 7 makasagot na. Oh, yeah. Ah. Alright, thank you so much. Salamat ka. Ayaw. Maraming salamat, Quezon Province. Actually, it's my first pageant here in Cebu. Ah, your first time? Right? Yeah. By the way, hi, Mother Carla. I am your daddy, Carlo. Hello. <laughs> 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 Ano ba? Par pero parang yung bosses ko ata ang Carlo. Carlo. <laughs> Mas Carlo pa yung bosses ko. <laughs> but I have to say, Bulacan, you won the best designer, of course. Mm -hmm. Your beautiful gown, you look stunning. Very Audrey, Audrey Hepburn ang bag. It's a Balenciaga 1951 Velvet and Tool Collection. This is a Sleeping Beauty that is awakened for tonight. Wow. Yeah. Tapos ang ganda din ng mga jewelry mo, kumikinang-kinang. Thank you, thank you. Marshandar for my accessories for tonight. Thank you, Daya Gold, for my accessories tonight. <laughs> exit, exit, Nako. <laughs> Ay, Nako, Daya. Uwi to, na ako. Uwi to agad, Daya, kasi wala na. Yung house and lot ko, ubos kung ganito. Oh, wala na ito. All right, Miss Bulacan, I have to ask you, though, because you did also, like some of the other ladies here, have joined so many. And, you know, you've also won Miss International Queen Philippines in 2023. So, why would you want to join Queen? Actually, when I passed my applications, many people were like, Oh, why are you there? You're already this, you're already that, you have the title already. Why do you just give it to the young ones? Kung baga sabi nila parang, ipaubaya mo na. But this is important to me. This is important to us. Because this platform serves as an inspiration for so many trans women. And that is, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Look at those queens who is here tonight. They are professionals in their own rights. They are queens in their own ways. And I know that if ever I'll be in this platform, I'll be just like one of them. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if I could reach top seven. But I could uh, just want to take this moment to thank Mother Carrie for sharing this legacy to us. And I know that yeah, this may be the last pageant edition for Queen Philippines. But I know that this is not the last for the advocacy and for the cost the organization owed to the community. And if you would be given, uh, if I would be given a chance to be that last queen, I will prove to the organization that I'm worth it to be the Lars Queen. Thank you. I love that you just created yourself a hashtag right there. Or was that, did you just create that right now? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Hashtag the Lars Queen. Thank you so much, Bulacan. And hello, Miss Kidapawan City. Hello. I'm stressed right now and I have anxiety because of this ladies. They are all beautiful. No, don't don't feel any anxiety. I need a doctor. <laughs> oh, we only have a lawyer. Oh my God, the lawyer. But yeah. I need a doctor. Doctor, uh, <laughs> Mom Sophia. <laughs> well, honestly speaking, I feel overwhelmed right now because this last edition of Queen Philippines 2024, it's like a all star, like a RuPaul Drag Race all star. There. There have many uh, famous and influential individuals here in front of you and I'm very blessed and happy to be next with them and by that I may not be your favorite candidate but one thing is for sure I can be your dark horse. <laughs> I think you've made quite worse. an impact because we were supposed to have a break after 20 candidates a while ago in the pre-judging but we decided to go one more and I think you left quite an impact on the judges as well so I have to ask you this one interesting question oh my god I feel nervous <laughs> it's okay to be nervous because I have nervous system <laughs> it's better you're feeling than you're not feeling the others okay we have the best of the best in terms of our judges this year. If you could choose only one of them to replace or remove, which one would you choose? 
Oh my god, that is very hard question because all of the judges are entitled to judge for tonight, but I guess I will remove the judge. I'm very sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Madam Small Lalde. I would like to apologize why. It is because I know that she's very rich and she needs to relax already. She don't need to judge us because, because all of us are equally beautiful and talented. But thank you so much, Madam Small, for posting me. At least I get trend. Many people congratulate me with that thought. But I want to apologize. I want to remove Madam Small. I want her to relax. Because there's no, I know, there's no room for to be judgmental in a small world. Right? So relax. All right, so relax. Well, thank you very much, Miss Kida Pawan. That's all. That's all. You want more? I want more. Because I'm so good. very overwhelmed. Um, to be honest, I did not expect that because all the ladies are just Almost stunning. Just We're all very smart. We're all very beautiful and I just feel very thankful right now. So thank you so much judges and thank you to those people supporting me all the way. Thank you. Okay, Miss Southern Leite, we are celebrating tonight all the greatness of Queen. This is the final edition. So if you could have this moment right now to look straight over there, what would you say to try to convince Mommy Carrie Santiago and Mommy Wendell Casido to not make this the last edition? Mother Carrie, Mommy Wendell, please. There are a lot of ladies during the screening who did not make it and still wants to join. And if ever I'm not going to make it tonight, I will surely join again and again and again until I get tired. Because to be honest, um, it's really sad that this is the last Queen Philippines and this is the reason why I joined because to be honest with you guys, I didn't have the confidence to join tonight's pageant but a lot of people keep on saying me that based on my experience and based on my beauty and my intelligence, I need to join. So I am very proud to say that for the last Queen Philippines, I am one of the official candidates and I made it to the top 15. So Mother Carrie and Mami Rindel, please, you can still change your mind. Thank you. Well, we were always joking with them. The semi-last. <laughs> semi-last lang. All right, thank you very much, Miss Southern Leite. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, no moving Okay, forgive me because I'm, my geography is not so great. Pretty good with history, pretty good with English, but my geography not so great. Isabella is in Luzon, right? Yes, in the northern part of Luzon. Oh, okay, because na ano ako na mali ako ng kaybakolod eh. Kamali ako kaybakolod noon. So Isabella, Luzon area. Yes. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about Isabella? Actually, Isabella is the Queen Province of the North. If the Cebu province is the Queen Province of the South, we are the Queen Province of the North. And I am really proud because Isabella has the first ordinance protecting the LGBTQA plus community, which is in Santiago City, which is my city. So I think it's time for the Isabella to have other municipalities to implement also this kind of ordinance so that we trans or the part of the LGBTQIA plus community can freely show who we are 
so that we have a comfortable place and a safer place. Actually, Carla, um, this was inspired here in Mandawi City as the first city here in Cebu province having an ordinance of LGBTQA plus protecting the LGBTQA plus community rights. That's why I'm really happy that we all uh, we have in, in my city. Well, I'm very proud to hear that your city has that and hopefully because we have that connection of both being the Queen Cities. Yes, that's also, why I'm encouraging you to visit Isabella very soon. Just contact me. <laughs> Will you pay for the I'll ticket? I'll pay you. I have a plus one, my husband. Uh, okay. <laughs> no problem. Marami guapo doon. Babe, I'm going on a vacation. No. So, Miss Isabella, one last thing I'm going to ask you for tonight during our casual interview here. A little bit light, lang. Diba? Um, what is something, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Or maybe what's the craziest thing you want to do pa? The craziest thing that I wanted to do, actually, is just to enjoy in this pageant. Because last time I have, I became a top seven, and people coming from Isabella are pressuring me, or there's something rumors that, hey, Jam, top seven the last time, so you need to prepare, you need to be become the most beautiful, prepared candidate. But the craziest thing is, oh, I'm just relaxed. I'm just happy of what we are doing. That's why I'm here, just relaxing. Because I know that Cebuanos and Queen Philippines embraces me as one of their family. Yun nga sa interview sabi ko, I was sabotage last time. Wala pong I booked the designer and also the hairstylist. Pero hindi sila dumating, so I cried. And then afterwards, the Cebu, and dito po siya, actually, si James. He called the designers, makeup artists from Cebu, and helped me to not to give up. That's why I am here, loud and proud, that Cebuanos really love me. And I want to give it back, your kindness that you gave. I have to say, though, Isabella, your friends over there are one of the most gracious. They kept trying to feed me the entire night. Thank you very much, guys. And do you want to say something to your friends, Wallace? Thank you so much. I cannot say I am speechless because actually we are far, so far from Cebu. We need to travel from Isabel to Manila nine hours via land. That's true, land travel. Yeah. Yes. And also we need to Manila to Cebu. It's really a one hour, 30 minutes flight. That's why I am happy that they gave me their time just to support me. And all of the judges, I hope that I know that you don't know Isabella. What's in Isabella? Just look into my face. That is Isabella. Thank you so much, Miss Isabella. Thank you. All right, now let's move on with Miss Chargao. Hello. If you want to look what you charge out also. This is the true example of the beautiful people of Chargao. I never been in Chargao. Let's go there together. Yes. <laughs> Come on in. Hello, Miss Carla. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. It took an entire village and a panic attack to get this happening. Okay, Miss Chargao. One thing that also kind of stood out to me when you were saying in your prejudging is that you have a very, very loyal and devoted boyfriend. Yes, I do have. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, when I was traveling to Chargao, remember the bridge in General Luna? There was a lot of foreigners there. And I met someone and I feel like I'm in cloud nine. Oh, the Afam Bridge. Yes. Oh, I've been there. Yes. But I already have an Afam, so okay. That's okay. You can leave him in Cebu and we'll just go there together. And look for another man. And Babe, I have another vacation. I'm <laughs> just kidding. From Isabella, I'm going straight to Chargao. <laughs> so, your boyfriend, you met him on the bridge? Yeah, actually, it was just like coincidence because 
you know, I was just walking through him and then he asked for my number, we get through we get to know to each other and then we fell in love and I feel so happy because he gives me a hundred dollar every week. <laughs> The forex is very high right now. Yeah, that's why I'm so happy and so grateful. Very. So, 58.7 50, About 5,000. Like, no more, 5,870. Wow, you're very good in math. Semi. I'm good with money. Same. <laughs> okay, Ms. Chargal, a question for you though. Okay, nothing to do with with Shargao. Just want to get your input on this, okay. since you were you were already discussing about your boyfriend. Um, which one, if you could only have one, or you could only be one, which one would you be? A wife or a mother? Well, ladies and gentlemen, choosing both is really difficult. But God gave me the opportunity to do multitasking. So why do one? We can do both. <laughs> a wife at the same time I can also be a mother just like me I have a tattoo of my nephews because I really love them and I feel like I am a mother to them at the same time a good loyal wife sometimes bothered wife <laughs> housewife mothered wife what with one hundred dollars plus bothered wife <laughs> Um, I think fifty dollars na lang. Ah, that's yes, why you're bad because it's kinat lang, yes. not the physical. No man, you're scaring me. I thought the physical. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Thank Argel. you so much, and I'm so happy. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting me. It okay. touches my heart. Thank you so much. And congratulations also for winning Best in National Costume. Thank you. And I think you will, uh, you're going to win this in gown tonight too. <laughs> Which I'm one? I'm going to give you an award once I get my payment next week. <laughs> next week, $100, I'll give it to you. That's the prize. Oh. <laughs> I, we, uh, my dear friend has a very good saying. Um, Western Union is open 24 hours a day, 7 yes, days a week. especially if you have Don't the be shy. Right? Yes. So, so your phone is not shining. It's on a home. Yes. Um, thank you very much, Ms. Shargao. Thank you so much. Okay, Ms. Digo City. My baby. I also have a boyfriend. Loyal and faithful. Same as you. Wow. A beer. <laughs> Boyfriend chat meet last night. It's a time. Sharing is caring. Yes. And PM is the key. The sharing is loving. All right, Miss Digo City. I have to just ask. You're, you're all pink over here. You getting? I think this is because of the shawl that I was using during the evening gown. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you were getting some hives. Or... No, I'm fine. You're okay. Right. I'm okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move on and ask you um, first, how does it feel to be in the top 15? I mean, we are like pretty much halfway through, so you were called about halfway through. Yes, uh, I'm, it's actually mixed emotion. First, I'm so hungry, I want to eat later with bok choy. I hope the judges were going with me to eat bok choy. It's very delicious in pizza at Labangon. And overwhelmed as well because, you know, with 40 beautiful ladies with me and I was able to make it in the top 15, this is how overwhelming, I do appreciate that. So my family and friends who are here, ako na ikasulti, kamura jud ang mga buktong itik na nagpapapapa sa malapokong kong kasi-kasi. So our judges are um, either English or Tagalog. What's the translation? Okay, and did you go katabang nimo? Did you go kasabot sa mga isulti? The English for that, to for our judges, is they are the duck, the kapa kapa, the fly fly in my heart, in my muddy heart. That's all. Anything else? One more thing. One more thing. Okay, so 
you are pretty in pink, Barbie pink, right? So I have to ask this though, um, what is the strength that you think a woman should have in this day and age? Or what quality? I think the woman should have, or trans women should have, is to always project your true inner self. Because when you project your true inner self, you are inspiring others to be true to themselves as well. <laughs> Reality is we're living in a very conservative society wherein people cannot live a day without judging others. We don't need validation from other people. You just have to validate yourself. Express your true character. Because I was raised by my grandmother and she told me that no matter what happens, if people will try to pull you down, I'm just here who embraces your true character and identity. And right now I'm here, a very empowered, a very strong, independent woman I am today because I have the strongest backbone, including my grandmother. Because I may not be the most beautiful transgender in the world, but I still showcase love, respect, and gain my own identity. And that really makes me a very happy, contented, in a fulfilled creature in this world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Diva Silly. Okay, now Ms. Kamigan, hello. Hey, hello, here we are again. <laughs> I told you judges that I will bring home. <laughs> okay, Miss Kamigan. Where, which part of Kamigan are you from? Um, I have rocket. I have rocket in Kamigan soon. I have hosting there in Mambahal. Yeah, yeah, I know that place. Where are you from? Which part? In Mahinog. Mahinog. Yeah, at the port area. Port area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, as, were you born and raised in Mahinog? I am born and raised in Kamigan Island, and my family was there. Okay. So as you were born and raised, because we're not talking about you being born, I want to ask you something that's a little outside of the box. You ready? Okay. If you could choose the day that you would die, which day would you choose? If I could choose the day if... What is that? <laughs> uh, the day you would... Um, uh, die, pass away, you know, maker, the oro. Okay, if I were to choose the day when I die, I will choose today. Why not today? Because, <laughs> because you know, um, God has the best plan, I think. Yeah, that is why right now I'm enjoying my life. Because life is all about enjoying and exploring. That is why you can see me. I'm a happy person. Yes, that is why to all the people here in the um, stage gym, follow what I said. Inhale, exhale. Yes, that is the, manifest the manifestation when you're experiencing life, its meaning and its beauty. I'm sorry for my pronunciation because I came from the island. So, ladies and gentlemen, please adjust. <laughs> I don't think I've ever laughed this much on this day. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Gamigan. I will adjust. <laughs> Yes, I want more. I want more. Well, you know who knows how to wind yeah. it up are the titas of Cebu over there. There. Titani nang. Back in a man. One glass lang. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much. Fabulous job. Ladies. Hi. So, is it more nerve wracking to be last? Last batch, or would you have rather been the first? I think everybody's saving the best for last. I agree. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 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 exactly. 
I love it, I love it. All right, let's get down to it, all right, ladies? Okay, Zamboanga City. A little tidbit that we learned from you uh, in your prejudging also is that you're a collector of Barbies, right? Yes, obviously, pink, blonde hair, and just proving to you that even Barbies are not perfect. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Barbie? Because you know they come, uh, like, I, of course, I have two girls, so they love always, they're all in the Barbie phase right now. I so Barbie. I always have to buy Island Barbie, uh, Engineer Barbie, like Chef Barbie. Barbie, you know. I like it, but it's like now. Yeah. It's like a hard rock, I love one pipe. I would have to say my favorite Barbie would probably be the Nurse Barbie, because I see myself in a Nurse Barbie. Because as a nurse, it shows that anything is possible. That you can work under pressure, grace under pressure. Because we, as nurses, we have good days and bad days. And just like Barbie, she has her good days and bad days. And she can be anything. Anything is possible. Just like earlier, you saw me, I had a stumble. And it's just like life. You stand back up, you try again, and show everyone that Every after every storm comes the rainbow, and I am that sunshine. I love it. It is very true what you're saying. But you being a nurse, though, that yes. is also like our nurses are our unsung heroes, also, right? Yes. Especially going through the pandemic. Yes. You guys were real saviors of our entire country, entire world, actually. And Filipino nurses are loved everywhere. We are top notch. Nurses, I truly believe that the Philippines produce the best nurses in the world. I mean, look at surveys, and you ask people abroad, Filipino nurses are on a different level. We are hardworking, we smile despite of all the trials, and even we have a heavy workload, we still smile. I don't know what's with Filipinos, we just love smiling despite of the hardship. I think it's just a beautiful trait of being a Filipino and combine that with being a nurse. I mean, what else are you looking for? That's true. Because you, you must deal with a lot of difficult patients. Oh, yes. What's the most difficult patient? I mean, I don't want you to name any names, right? Oh, yes. So we, have we, 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 have, uh, we protect their privacy. Because I work in a private hospital in Mer Melbourne, Australia. Because I mainly work as a surgical nurse, so we get a lot of post-op patients. So they're very vulnerable after a surgery. So we make sure that they don't bleed, and we watch them every 15 minutes for the first hour. It's very crucial, so you have to be very critical. And I do night shifts, so I have to be very critical with everything that's happening at night. I don't know how I do it. I've been doing it for 10 years and I truly believe that being a nurse is testing your totality as a person with your mind, your body, and your soul, thinking through every little situation you have to be considered. Well, I mean, if I was getting out of surgery and I was looking at you, I think I'd be having a pretty good time. Yeah, that's the thing. I truly believe, um, as a nurse, if you smile, it makes a difference because um, patients are in pain, they're heavy, they're at the most lowest point of their lives, but even just a simple smile, it makes a difference. So I think, I just want to thank um, Dental Amor, Dr. Amor, for giving me that award for us. That's just to prove that a smile can make a difference. Wow. Dr. Amor is our sponsor. Yes, so thank you so much, Dr. Amor. We look forward to more sponsorships. <laughs> thank you very much, Ms. Zamboanga City. De nada. Muchas gracias a todos. Right. Hello, Ms. Quezon City. I am Maayong Gabi, Metro Cebu, finally. And I would just like to apologize to the judges earlier because if you feel super abrasive about me earlier, there's just too many things that's going on my shoulders. And I believe that the queen should always be humble. And I'm humbling myself right now. Thank you very much for including me today. Ms. Quezon City, I appreciate that, uh, that gesture that you're doing right now. So I have to ask, because I, 
I did also get to read all your bios and you know talk to you girls individually. Um, do you do you want to share a beautiful story that you might have about survival or because I do know, but I know that maybe you want to share or if you don't, we're perfectly okay. We can move on to another question. It's okay. Well, you know what? Joining pageants before and competing right now again reminded me to be kind because in social media they're very cruel we eat bashing for breakfast but on the days that i wanted to fight back and i can't hold it anymore i remind myself to always kill them with kindness blow them a kiss i never bark i never bite because i'm not a dog i'm a queen on that because sometimes I do bark. Don't worry, I can share with you my notebook. Is it, is it a pink notebook also? Yes, it's colored pink, just like my gown and my shoes, gorgeous again, pink. <laughs> Who is your designer is? Harvey Senate, my love, thank you very much, Harvey. I don't know where he is right now, but I'm very grateful. I was actually just about to um, pull out a gown that somebody used for Cannes Film Festival, but he said, are you really sure that you just want to pull out? Don't you want me to create one for you? So I told him, I'm very grateful and I'll be very honored to wear a creation of you. Well, Harvey Zenit is one of our love designers here in Cebu, who's making a name for himself also so all the way much. in Dubai. So we are very much graced with a lot of talented designers here in Cebu. Well, Miss Quezon City, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Carla. And again, to the panel board of judges, salamat kaayo. Hello. Yes, I was actually like, that's why I changed my gown. Because like, it's really slippery and, you know, one step could make you fall down. Yeah, but it's a beautiful stage though, I have to yes, say. Yes, I admire the stage so much. It's just my amateur feet are just, you know, itchy and... <laughs> 